Daniel Dumbrill is suing me. Oh no. In China, of course, he's, he's suing me in China. A country where the court system is a joke. Daniel Dumbrell. This guy is so insanely childish. He waited weeks and weeks for me to release a video mentioning him just so that he could unblock me on Twitter and post about me. Hilarious. The whole time I had coronavirus, not a peep, not a word. But I make a video and he comes out. So predictable. And Daniel, you didn't even make the thumbnail of the last video. That's how unimportant you are. He of course makes the accusation that he will sue me for defamation. And so what does he do in the process of telling me that he will sue me for defamation? He slanders me. Are you really this stupid? As I've said, Daniel, I've been steps ahead of you this entire time. Okay, and you are right. This will make a great vlog. I will continue to make videos about you as long as you shill for the Chinese government. When you quit, I will no longer make videos about you shilling for the Chinese government. But I will never stop proving you wrong until then. Daniel says he's been ignoring me. Just ignoring me. Yet he watches my videos. Strange. When I ignore people, I don't do anything with them. I don't look at them. I don't talk to them. He also goes out of his way to take multiple clips from different videos of mine and edit them together in an effort to make it sound like I'm saying something I'm not. He says I support sex padding, all while being friends with the poster boy of sex padding, SexPat60. I mean, old guy, Chinese woman, foreign wife speaks none of the language. You're not looking down upon him, are you? I made a video telling guys that they could come to China, they could find a girlfriend, even if they speak limited Chinese, even if they were not the best looking. Is that wrong? What's wrong with people looking for serious relationships? I made that video because someone sent me a PM, someone that wasn't very confident. He asked me if he could find a girlfriend. I said, sure, you could probably find a girlfriend in China. I don't see why not. And I told him I would make a video about it. So that's what I did. I never told guys to come to China and just sleep with a bunch of Chinese women. Again, you're going to have to do better than that, Daniel. You see, there's a major, major difference between me and you. I'm not hiding. I make my videos out in the open. I don't post them on Twitter and I don't delete my comments or my videos. I'm not afraid to prove you wrong every single day. Not afraid. Okay. I say what I want when I want, and I mean it. I don't filter my videos like you do because I'm not afraid of my government making me disappear. He pieces together an insanely large Twitter conversation. It is obvious. I'm under Daniel's skin. I've asked Daniel at least 20 times to debate me live and he turns it down. It has never become more apparent that Daniel is afraid. He claims he's just too smart and it would be a waste of time. I'm a sack of bricks dumb. Shouldn't debating me be easy? Just like he claimed he spoke better Chinese than La Y86. And when it came to debate, he chickened out. I don't know why. I'm starting to think that Daniel doesn't even have nuts. It seems out of all the pro CCP shills, he's the one that's the most afraid. I'm quite shocked actually. Daniel continues to push this agenda that Asians in America are just being attacked left and right because this is the agenda of the CCP, the Chinese government. 
The Chinese government wants people to think, wants Chinese people to think, that America is a dangerous place for them. Yet, when you look at America, when you look in our cities, it's strange. Chinese people have integrated into our society, and the average American thinks positively about Asian people. The average American thinks they're smart, friendly. The average American thinks plenty of great things about Asian people. He, of course, picks a few articles and acts like they're the norm, like this is just what's happening every single day. Again, Daniel, you always tell other people, like Sorpinsa and Lao 86 that they don't understand China anymore. They're not in China. Well, Daniel, you're not in America. You obviously haven't lived here. So you're going to have to do better than just picking out liberal media in America that is simply doing a job for the CCP. At the same time, the fact that we do report those cases, isn't that evidence that we don't socially accept this type of behavior? That is something that China should learn, to not socially accept the negative behavior. Where were all of the angry people when Africans were paraded down the street in Guangzhou like cattle, like modern day slaves? Oh, that's right. It was government ordered, government ordered racism. And going against that would mean jail time, would mean prison for Chinese people because their government doesn't care about them. Daniel then makes fat jokes, fat shaming. Oh. Oh my gosh, it hurts. What a child. Doesn't Daniel know that fat shaming is a horrible, horrible thing? Even driving some people to suicide. You horrible, horrible person. But Daniel, it won't work. I'm not offended by such third grade insults. You can continue to make them. It is more of a reflection on you than it is me. I could lose weight, but you could never gain more character. I encourage you to contact mom and dad, to ask them for the money to sue me here in America, a country where the court system will actively seek fair justice. In doing so, I will also be prepared and show them all of the wonderful things you have been saying, not just about me, but some other YouTubers that may also be interested in a lawsuit. I think you would find that not only would you lose your lawsuit against me, but you would be opening a can of worms on yourself. I dare you to try it. I dare you. Prime in China, like, comment, subscribe. Check out my Patreon so that we can continue the Prime in China channel fighting against pro CCP shills. We will never give up, ever.